Good morning guys, I hope that you are all good. I feel like I haven't done a vloggy style video in ages. I've actually filmed one right at the beginning of this lockdown. It was such a stressful day and to be honest I just abolished the vlog because I thought I just need to get my head in the right space. I need to just enjoy family time and get in a bit of a routine and I'm really glad that I took a little bit of a break. Um, but yeah, I'm back into filming videos. I feel like a little bit more motivated about what I want to put out there. Um, so today I thought I would film a what I eat in a day. These are always really popular on my channel anyway and I really like watching what people eat. Um, but especially at the moment for inspiration because obviously we are all stuck indoors and all we really want to do is eat. So I generally eat quite healthy, I would say. Um, we definitely have takeaways in the week and things like that. Um, but yeah, I try to eat quite healthy, but I am pregnant. <laughs> I'm nearly 19 weeks and I am craving a lot of carbs. Um, so yeah, my diet has definitely gone a bit downhill <laughs> since being pregnant and also being in this lockdown. Um, but I do try and eat a lot of fruit and veg as well when I can. Um, I'm really fancy. I normally just have porridge most mornings, but I really fancy egg on toast this morning so I'm gonna make um some kind of egg on toast I don't know whether it's gonna be scrambled or fried yet um but yeah I'm gonna make egg on toast for my breakfast Harry's just sitting down having his breakfast now as well um and hopefully that'll keep me going for a couple of hours until lunchtime we've just done um oh my god my arm's killing me we've just done three workout videos on YouTube we just like search for kids workouts we were doing all the joe wicks ones but we decided to mix it up a bit um, and just do some other random ones as well so we just search for kids exercise or kids workouts and it comes up with like hundreds and hundreds of different ones so we did a marvel one we did some weird one with an old guy singing a song which was really strange and then we did a cosmic kids yoga which is always my favorite because it's less strenuous and um i just find the woman so engaging um but yeah i'm starving it's already 10 o'clock because we've been getting up so late we've been having our breakfast really late um which kind of sets the whole day off to a bit of a rocky start but yeah i'm gonna go and make my breakfast and i've already had a cup of tea i just wanted to mention that i'm drinking decaf at the moment even though i'm having caffeine every now and again um just because you're obviously not meant to have too much caffeine in pregnancy and i find that i don't need too much caffeine day to day anyway let's go make some breakfast So I've decided I'm going to make eggy bread, which is basically to me where you cut out a hole in the middle of the bread and you grill it or toast it or fry it as I'm going to do and then you put an egg in the middle and then flip it over and cook it and yeah, that is basically it. It's nutritious, <laughs> very carby but this is what I fancy this morning and I'm going to serve it with some brown sauce. Sorry about the washing machine on in the background. I am trying to get a load of washing done today that I've just built up. Um, you might be able to hear Scott on a conference call upstairs as well, but that is home life. Um, me and Harry, he's just sat down here waiting for his lunch. We have just done some homeschooling. We did, what did we do this morning? Spellings, reading, he read lovely to me. Um, and then he watched a BBC Bite Size program for 20 minutes, which is really good. And we're just going about to print some coloring pages off, aren't we? We've printed Winnie the Pooh and some Mario ones and I'm about to make lunch. So Harry is going to have a cheese sandwich with cucumber and some crisps. That is like his staple lunch. He always wants it. Um, and I am going to have a jacket potato with tuna. But instead of having a jacket, I think I'm going to have a sweet potato because I've got one to use up. And I also really like it. It's a little bit less carby than a regular potato so it's a little bit better for you plus i don't put butter in it either which i find you would have to do in a normal jacket potato um so it's a little bit better for you so first off i'm gonna wash my sweet potato and give it a good scrub make sure it's clean and then i'm gonna pop it in the microwave i normally do it for about four minutes on each side and sometimes i put it in the oven as well if i just want it extra crispy and then i'm going to have this little mini portion of tuna with some mayonnaise and some black pepper 
and then pop it on top with a little grating of cheese and then I really fancied um, some salad so I have a little bit of cucumber with it and then I decided to cut up some cucumber, sorry, some carrot sticks and have that with some hummus on the side. So after saying that I um, can survive without caffeine, I really feel like I need a caffeinated drink. So I'm gonna make one of the Instagram coffees, a Dalgona coffee. Um, I've got instant coffee. It's actually quite low in caffeine, this one. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's a lower caffeine one. Um, so I'm gonna use this with some sugar, less sugar than a lot of the recipes call for. And I'm gonna make mine with oat milk. And I have ice from my fridge freezer. Um, very excited about it. So to make Dalgona coffee, you need to boil some water. You will need two spoonfuls of instant coffee, two spoonfuls of cane sugar, and three spoonfuls of boiling water, and that's all teaspoons. Um, I always add this little bit more of boiling water because I am just really bad at measuring it out, but it seems to be okay. And then I whisk it up until it kind of gets to this creamy, whippy texture and then I put some oat milk in a glass over some ice, add my coffee so on top now, and stir it around and drink it. And we are having dinner. We eat dinner quite early. When Harry's at school, we actually normally are eating dinner by half past five. Um, but obviously it's been a bit later because everyone's going to bed later. Um, but we are having a gusto meal tonight. We always get gusto boxes. So for four of our meals a week, we have gusto. And then the other three are just other meals, whether one's a takeaway and two just randomly cooked meals. So we are having 10 minute Joe's halloumi cashew curry and it looks so good. And the fact that it only takes 10 minutes is an absolute plus in my book. So I'm going to leave the recipe below for this one, um, it's a gusto recipe but I'm just going to copy exactly what the ingredients list and the method for it was um, so that you can copy it, it was really easy and very tasty. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.